Howdy, hey. How you doing, baby? You good? You straight? You sure? All right now. <laughs> so last night, we had an argument. No, we didn't. We didn't. Nobody had an argument. It was just me by myself. <laughs> okay, me and the cat. But um, last night, I had a situation. I broke down. I had a breakdown moment. And I know that there are many more breakdown moments to come. But um, I don't know. I just got into this mode of, okay, nope, I take it back. I do know. So basically, as it pertains to like my ex fiance and stuff, um, I saw where I had some interaction online from a family member of his. And I'm really not, there's not a lot of communication between me and his family like it was or like I thought it would be continuously. And I mean, I have my reasons as to, or I have the, what I've been thinking as far as my reasons for why we're not really communicating like that. And it's all understood, like, you know, one of the situations where what's, what's understood don't really need to be explained. But um, I got on Instagram and I saw where I had some interaction from somebody and it just made me emotional. And it made me think about him. And then I started to miss him. And then I was just thinking about all the different things that have happened between, you know, the time that he left to now. And I was just having all these different thoughts of like, man, we would be talking about this. He would be cracking a joke about that. Like we would be just we would be watching this right now, different things that come out now where I'm like, you know how you have your person and you'd be like, don't watch the fucking show without me and shit. <laughs> and now I'm like watching all this shit by myself, which is cool. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm cool with that. But it's like, I was just in, in those feels of just like, damn, I know for a fact that he would like this show right here and we would be watching that shit and be like, don't watch that shit until I get off work. Don't watch that shit or whatever. You know, don't watch it without me. And I just broke down last night. Like, I didn't feel like watching TV anymore. I didn't feel like being on my phone. I just wanted to listen to some music. And I wasn't necessarily purposefully listening to music to make me cry. <laughs> I was actually listening to new artists that I had discovered through other people. And it was just different songs. And then... You know, the fucking tears started to flow. My cat, she came and she <laughs> she laid directly by my face. Like she laid her whole entire, first she laid on my chest and then she moved and she laid like right next to my face so that I could like lay on her and lean on her and stuff. And it was just, it was a sad time, but at the same time it was healing because I no longer fight the emotions. I no longer get upset at myself for feeling the emotions and having the emotions like they're there. This was a person, like I said before, many times before, that I was getting ready to marry and that I thought was my person. Like this was my person. So even though the shit that my person did was fucked up, fucked up the feelings attached to the person sometimes you need that time to heal from that right there and this is another reason why I know that I'm like not I'm really not in the business of entertaining anybody in the sense of trying to get to know or trying to see where something could fucking go like I don't care where shit's gonna go right now with anybody else other than myself I can't I feel like it would be unfair because there's just so many feelings still attached to this other person. And I need to, I need to cut the cord. Definitely. I need to cut the cord. Um, but it's just so much shit there and it just wouldn't be fair. I feel like it would just be like a, a rebound type of situation because I missed my body, the body that I had here. 
So anybody else coming in would just be a body. Um, and that's not fair to that person. That's not fair to anybody. So I just kind of kick it to myself. I stay to myself. I like talking to people. I want to talk to somebody and have conversations and shit. You know, just fucking talking to toddlers all day. <laughs> I communicate with toddlers all fucking day. So yeah, I want to have adult conversation, but man, that shit was just, that shit really hit. And then why the fuck did I decide to listen to a song that just, I knew that shit was going to make me cry. Like, I, this is why I say I wasn't purposefully listening to music that was going to make me cry. But it just happened like that. And I felt like, I even said it in my head before I put the fucking song on. I was like, I feel like this shit's going to make me cry. But I wanted to hear the song because it was a song that I played a lot. It was a song that me and him vibe to. And it was like, it just made me think of him. It was it was a song by his, I will say one of his favorite artists, if not kind of like his favorite artist, Juice World. Um, it's the song called Flaws and Sins. And man, that shit, as soon as it dropped, I was just like, <sighs> because just everything attached to it everything fucking attached to it it just got me even more <laughs> down and then after that after i cried a little bit you know felt a little healing power then i took my ass to sleep i listened to some hurts <laughs> listened to be some good old hurts and i went to sleep but then there are times like today where you know i'm getting ready to sit down chill out kids are asleep everybody's good I'm about to have my mommy time and shit. And I'm thinking about how, and I fucking hate using the word gaslight, but it fits. <laughs> but just realizing like how much this person was gaslighting me. And, and in that moment when I was thinking about that tonight, about how much I was being gaslit by this person, then the immediate thought came to my head. It's like, you really don't know how much you were. You really honestly don't know. The only thing that comes to mind to me or for me is just one situation in particular where, you know, I was talking to him about something and his response to what I said was good. I'm glad that you know. And all the while, the shit that I'm talking to you about is shit that you are doing. Like you are doing that shit on purpose. And it fucked me up because I was just like, damn, this motherfucker knew that they was doing that. And I even remember sitting in the car when I said what I said to him and how he looked when he said what he said to me. And it was just like, like, just so sure of himself, like, yeah, I didn't got away with some shit. And I'm going to make you think, like, you know. Or I feel like he kind of had the look on his face, like, yeah, I'm in there good. I'm definitely in there good. I can do whatever the fuck I want. And, you know, I got her eating out of the palm of my hand. She's going to believe whatever the fuck I tell her. And it just hurt. I was pissed off about it when I first thought about it. I ain't going to lie. It pissed me off. But the shit just fucking hurt. Because, again, it puts me in that mind frame of what part of my relationship was real. And at this point, I know it wasn't a relationship. Well, I was on a relationship. He was in some relationship. And he had to get off the fucking shit. So, I knew that. But, those unanswered questions. What part of my relationship with this person that I thought I had was real. When did shit change? When was there a shift in it being a relationship for the both of for the both of us to go into a relationship for one of us? And one of us decided, no, I don't want to do this shit no more. I don't like this shit no more. Or whatever the fuck. I don't even know what thoughts. I don't even know what it was. I don't know if it was a thought like that or if it was like I do truly love this person, but I got my demons. I don't fucking know. 
I don't fucking know. So it's just all these fucking thoughts that I'm having that I'd rather fucking not have. But again, I'm being gentle with self during this time. I don't know how long it's going to take to get over this. I mean, I definitely believe in non-attachment and that it's necessary in your evolution to not be attached because you come here by yourself unless you come here with a twin. <clears throat> unless you come here with a twin, you come here by yourself and you, you know, you go by yourself for the most part. So I'm trying to do the whole non-attachment thing because that's what I believe in, you know. I'm down with that shit. But man, it's just when you get yourself <laughs> entangled with another person, intertwined. I'd rather say intertwined because entangled just let's not bring let's not bring Jada into this. <laughs> I'd rather say intertwined. The way I was just so intertwined with this person. Again, the situation where it, and whoever's watching this will probably know, especially if you're a person who's watching this and you are with your person. You know what I'm saying? Like when you feel like you with your person and this is just it for you, like you know without a shadow of a doubt, like, yeah, I'm fucking good. Like I'm really not looking at nobody else. Like I'm not blind. I see people, I see other people are attractive, but as far as fucking with people like that, I ain't fucking with what the fuck I got at home. This is this is basically the cream of the crop in this gener in not generation, but in this time. This is this is fucking good. This is as good as it's gonna get. But apparently for me, that wasn't as good as it's gonna get. Apparently it's gonna get better than that. Because if I thought that was great, then what is to come has to be fucking way better than that, right? So <sighs> still having all these feelings. And even right now, in this moment, right now, <clears throat> even though I had that moment of being pissed off and then being sad about being gaslit, like, I still wholeheartedly miss this person, but I think it's just, I miss the, uh, I don't know if I miss the actual person or if I miss the representative. I could just miss the representative. They just had a bomb ass representative. But either way, it's like I just miss that connection because I I never had that type of connection with anybody. And when you have some shit that's just fucking amazing and then it's just ripped from up under you, it's just like, what the fuck do I do now? It makes you feel like you want to be closed off to love and to all these different things because it's like, I can't get anything better than that. I don't feel like there's better than that out here. Have you seen what the fuck is out here? But in the same breath, I know that there are people who are of that caliber <laughs> and could be better. And if I'm supposed to be with these people or this person, I gonna say people because that sounds. Mm. <laughs> but if I'm supposed to be with this person, right, then it's going to happen. But who's to say? Because I don't know. Who's to say all along the person that I'm supposed to be with is just my fucking self? Maybe I am the only one who's going to make me that happy. Maybe. I don't know. But thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for showing up for yourself. And for me. And for me. And my business. I love you. Take care of yourself. Drink your water and mind your goddamn business. We are gonna get through this. Anything that you going through right now. We are gonna get through this. I'm gonna get through this. You going to get through this. <laughs> we going to be all right. And that's that's on Kendall. I ain't got nothing else. I fucking love you, bro. <laughs>